episode of Oregon Life. Thanks for right? watching this episode, episode of, of Oregon, Oregon Life. Life. Here we are back with part two as Alex uh, talks more about his art. Uh, his mother and Alex talk about uh, the process a little bit and how colors, how he learns colors and the mentors help him. Uh, so I uh, hope if you haven't seen one, please go see uh, part one. Again, Alex is going to be in the 14 South tour coming up in September. So enjoy this episode with Alex and his mother in this episode of Oregon Life. When Alex comes to work on a painting with a mentor, the mentor is helping more just to uh, help him keep focused. Uh, he uh, is sometimes learning a new skill. Our, one of our recent mentors, Leslie EY, is teaching him how to uh, do a card cutout program to try to, to learn the shapes of what he's drawing and try to get an idea in his head and put it tangible. And so first he does a cutout example of what's in his mind and then he has to free draw he's learning how to free draw and try to put something on canvas and uh, you know none of the mentors will ever touch a painting it's more about teaching a skill learning a skill over time learning how to portray something and Alex grows in those types of portrayals sometimes he has to use a picture and then he uses a graph and then he projects it or this time he's just starting freehand and starting to learn how to take what he's done in more elaborate form and now he's free drawing and so now they just were working on the cow this past week a little bit and she was like you know encouraging him to round out the cow and then he was rounding out the cow right I mean I can't remember what she said exactly yeah, but I'll or no, it looked like a dog, and then so, I t oh, turned it from looking like a dog to more looking like a cow. And, and to do that, you had to take a picture. You went to the internet and you draw, pulled the picture down. Yeah. Oh, I oh, went to the internet and looked at a picture of a cow and cow's like face, and then oh, printed it off, and oh. And oh, I think uh, yeah. And then me and Leslie would talk about like oh, what I would want to paint, uh, work on with like how jumping over the moon or like the project at hand. Right. And one of the things that sh one of the things if you notice on the board here, you have all the different kind of color matches. That sometimes when you're working on a painting for a long time, you just finished a beautiful cow painting f for Ella and. Um, you have different pinks and you have different blues and different browns because you have to learn how many yep. how many of every color you put in so those are different signs you write big glob of white small mm -hmm. paint glob of light blue makes yeah. that one and yeah. then you do that so so she's teaching you how to take what's in your head and your practice and then how to repeat yeah. it because over equations. time you have to recreate that same blue so those are the teaching type of skills that she'll show you how to do but she's doing it within his Ability so like he talks about globs so she's like big glob of white small glob of light um, uh, Blended together. Uh, I think ear hair you have around the nose and I mean there's yeah. just so so she's teaching him skills And then he transfers those skills into his next painting and each he's always growing um, And every art mentor who comes is giving him a new perspective some new understanding of how to approach art He goes and watches them paint or watches them in their field and then uh, they transfer some information to him, like how to grow in a certain area, how to do clouds, how to do animals, how to do flowers, you know. Uh, how to do people. How to do perspective. He wants to learn how to draw people. So they're learning, Water. practicing yeah. freeform people. So they practice art skills. And that's what we do. When I look forward to in the future with like my art, oh. I, I, like, I like to dream big and, like, think big, and I, uh, like, want, oh, someday I feel like I would want my art in the Metropolitan Museum in New York and be able to, uh, yeah, have my artwork there and, 
have the artwork uh, as, uh, be like a Monopoly game. Like I said, I like dreaming big and um, and just how how I dream big is just that uh, I yeah don't let anything any obstacles get in my way, and I just look at the positive side of thing oh side of things and oh and uh, yeah and kind of like believe in and I have like faith that in what the possible not impossible well my favorite thing to do in the art world is to oh paint well besides painting oh I love tap dancing and singing and singing songs from my favorite musicals and I like Taking pe uh, I like seeing Broadway musicals, and I like taking people with disabilities to see a Broadway show at the Overture Center and sharing that experience with people with disabilities that don't get that experience and or get that opportunity. And I just like going above and beyond. And, oh, just feels. Again, to be loved by my parents and I and my mentors and just in friends that oh and been helped that helped me away uh, or helped me along my journey and and I just really feel like blessed and like thankful for them and just to be loved and treated the way I want to be treated. Thanks for watching Oregon Life. <laughs> watching this episode. Of Oregon Life. Thanks for <laughs> right? watching this episode, episode of, of Oregon, Oregon Life. Life.